Hello everyone, Captain Leon from Captain Leon's Boating and More, and I am coming to you from the north shore of Long Island, Long Island, New York, and wow, those are some significant boulders, right? Those were left over from the glacial period that moved through this area thousands of years ago, but today they still represent a navigational hazard to all. I want to tell you about something that's really great that you can all own, a tool if you will, something that every boater should have. And I am talking about the Navionics app on a smartphone, right? And anyone can download this, it doesn't make a difference if it's iOS or Android, and it really doesn't make a difference what kind of boater you are. You might have tremendous electronics on a real high-end vessel. You might just be a family boater jetting around. You might be a world-renowned fisherman, the master of simplicity who can read the water, or you might be the king of your kayak. It doesn't make a difference. You can benefit from this. This tremendous application has some very basic features that can help you no matter where you are. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna go over with you some of those basic features, and I promise you'll come away from this video saying, wow, this is great, and it doesn't make a difference. You could be on your boat, a friend's boat, a party boat, a tour boat, on vacation, doesn't matter. You're gonna have this with you because hey, where do you go without your smartphone, right? Practically nowhere. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so here we go and I am gonna show you some of the functions of this app. Let me just tell you that you can obtain this app, the Navionics app, whether you're on iOS uh, platform or your Android, either way, uh, the app is free. You know, there are functions of the app that for the $15 per year subscription, you know, you can get some extra goodies, but the bottom line is that the free app has got some great, great stuff. And look, you can get pretty deep into this and uh, you know, I'm just right now gonna just give you just some simple stuff that uh, is pretty cool you know you want to take it further take it further but let's just first look at the screen the Navionic screen right so it's a pinch and zoom kind of a screen uh, you can see that there are in fact uh, some you know things going on here we have a crosshair right that appears in the middle uh, with some icons around it we have a plus and minus in the top right hand corner so if you don't want to pinch and zoom you don't have to you could do it right from there uh, and it's got some other stuff here there's a search there's ability to take a picture so if you're underway in your boat and you see something that's pretty cool you click the picture and it makes a record of where that picture was taken, right? And then down here on the bottom, you know, we have a thumbtack there, right? So if you're someplace and you just say, wow, this is a great, great place, I wanna come back, you know, you hit that and you could set a waypoint. Uh, you can also go ahead and, you know, you can hit this and it'll bring you right to your current location. So, you know, you can see right now, I'm obviously not at sea, I am at home, right? Uh, so now getting back to the water and some of the different, you know, symbols that we see here um, so we're gonna put ourselves right at Mount Sinai Harbor right and down at the bottom just so you notice you have route start menu uh, and then a little icon there uh, we're gonna get into the route and the start and the menu in a little bit but um, let me just first show you something that, that's really neat this little symbol here at the bottom is a measure tool so when you click that all right you got a purple and a red and you could just drag these things around. So if you ever said, hey, I wonder how far it is to get, you know, from the beach to my favorite, you know, fishing spot, right? Okay, well, that's exactly one mile. And the heading that we would need to get from here to there is 339 degrees. So measuring tool, very, very cool. All right, and we'll just click that off. So now just getting back to the map and, and some of the symbols you'll see on the map. Uh, you know, and, and let's just start with this crosshair, right? This crosshair that appears, uh, you can see as I move it around, it shows us the amount of feet, right? 72 feet. And also we can see that there is uh, a question mark uh, on the right hand side and then there's what looks like weather on the left. So, you know, the purpose for this, uh, the question mark is, you know, when you go over a particular item, and I'm just gonna change the, uh, take it off sonar and put it on the regular nautical chart. It's a little easier. So now, if you happen to be moving this crosshair around the map and there's something of interest, right? Uh, that you said, I, I really wanna know what that is. So here, for example, um, we'll come across, uh, I think we have a little wreck here, I saw. You know, we have a symbol here, right, of a wreck. 
So when we go ahead and, and, and we take those crosshairs and we put those crosshairs right on that symbol and now it says rec, right? When we hit the question mark, boom, it's gonna give us the exact coordinates of where that rec is located, how far it is from where we are right now, what our heading would be to get there. We can boat to it uh, we can put a marker down on it. We can check the weather there. And if we need more information about that wreck, we can just click right here and it'll tell us, oh, this is a dangerous wreck. Uh, and it's down at around 48 feet and it's always underwater. So uh, you got the idea. All right. Uh, so that's that's kind of one of the things you're going to do with the crosshairs as you're moving it around the map. But let's say, for example, you were over here and now I'm over by um, Port Jefferson Harbor if we go back over to Mount Sinai Harbor and we wanted to click the uh, weather icon on the left look at this okay this is tremendous this is going to show us now all this information about this location which is Mount Sinai and we can see what the wind six miles per hour it's cloudy uh, barometric pressure we can see what's going on hour by hour the percent of rain wind whether the tide is on its way down and then the tide's going to come back up all right and also we can see the current the current gone the way uh, weather throughout the different days all right and then what you have down here is wind buoys tides and current so you have a lot of information right here if for example we hit tides it gives us the option of seeing tides in all various locations and if we click sea to beach which is where we are all right so we can see right here sea to beach new york and if we click this now we have the tides right in that location, Sea to Beach. We can see the hills and the valleys, all right, as the tide's going up and down. We see it's Sunday, April 11th. And as we move this, we can see as the cursor goes up and down the hills and valleys, the tide going up and down. And check this out. Look at the depth of the water changing, right? So our lowest depth we see, you know, here is 13 feet and then at high tide, you know it turns white because uh, we're in deeper water and as the water goes down you know it drops down again uh, you can see the water inside the harbor going up and down uh, with the tide so this is really uh, informative and if you need to know what the tide is going to be on a particular day uh, you can just click the day change the date and you're done it'll take you right there you want more detail not a problem hit details here you can have the sunrise, the moonrise, when's high tide, when's low tide, uh, and you could scroll through upcoming days as well. So a lot of great stuff uh, right here, a um, lot of information, you know, all on this map. And now what I want to show you is uh, some navigational tools, which is really amazing. So if, for example, uh, you wanted to uh, get to a particular point, all right, and if you went over here and just held your finger down, all right, so what that did is it just showed us exactly where that point was. But let me just do that again. All right, and we held that down. And what that did is it set our destination to be that location. And it's actually going to plot a course for us to get to that destination now right now it's showing me at my home and it's figuring I'm gonna I assume just walk or fly I'm not quite sure to get out to the water but once I get to the deeper water then it has me cycling around uh, and it plotted a course to get to that destination and check this out 8.6 miles to get there uh, it's going to take us 20 minutes and I'm going to use 1.9 gallons now that's only because I have preset into my app some of the specifications of my own vessel, the speed I like to travel at, how much fuel I burn, etc, etc. Uh, my boat is pretty fuel efficient. Uh, so just by long pressing, I was able to do that and navigate. Now I can hit cancel and that'll stop that. Uh, another great function is if you want to just create a route, you want to figure out how to get from point A to point B. All right, so we can go ahead over here and let's say we happen to be inside Mount Sinai Harbor and we can go ahead and we can hit route, an automatic route, and we could long press right here, okay, and we created that dot 
And now what we want to do is we want to make our way into Port Jefferson Harbor right here. And you see that line? And now you just saw a change, okay? So what it just did for us is it created an actual route to navigate. And if you're on your boat and you're underway, all you're doing is just following that pink line. You know, uh, if we were truly there, you know, we would see the marker, uh, the triangle marker, the red triangle represents you, right, in your boat. Uh, so you would just be seeing that red triangle marker motor away its long you know, along the pink line, and you would, of course, uh, have to navigate your vessel to follow this pink line. And it tells us that this route that it figured out for us to get over from Mount Sinai Harbor to Port Jefferson Harbor will be 5.5 miles. It's going to take us about 13 minutes and approximately how much fuel uh, we're going to burn. So, again, you know, there's so much here, uh, so much you can do. And, you know, um, another option is, let's say you just happen to be on a friend's boat. You wanted to get a sense of where you were at the moment. Of course, you would open up your app on your phone. Uh, you could just hit the start button down here. Okay, and now at the start button, it's going to show you how fast you're moving on your friend's boat, uh, you know, how far you've traveled, uh, what the total time is that you've been underway. You can see it's clocking away. And if we click this, uh, it'll give us, you know, more details, what our maximum speed was that we hit, uh, the average speed. If we hit this detail button, uh, it'll keep records for us, right? So let's say for the day today, Sunday, April 11th, our maximum speed we hit was zero. Uh, we were underway for this period of time. This is how far we traveled. We can compare that trip to averages. I know, you're impressed. I am too. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot. Um, a lot of great stuff, you know, in here. And, you know, if you get into the menu, uh, you can see that you can set up tracks, routes, you can create markers. I mean, look, I have markers here, right, of favorite fishing spots and different places that I've been. Uh, you know, if I want to click Mount Sinai Reef, it just shows me the reef. I could just hit the button. I could say I want a boat to it. And then, boom, it creates a path for me to get there. All right. Uh, so this is the Navionics app. Um, the beauty of the, uh, you know, the annual subscription, if you choose that $15 option, is all of the waypoints that you set, all of the places that you've been, uh, you know, is, is synced on their cloud. Uh, if you get uh, another phone, another device, uh, and then you install the Navionics app and you log into your account, everything just, you know, comes right over into this program uh, so you really can't beat that and uh, you know the um, the photo option uh, is great you know when you when you click those photos and you know if I go ahead and click uh, photo and just as an experiment I take a picture right so it's gonna it, it took the picture but it's recording that the picture is right where we are right now all right uh, and it says photos 3 and I click that and you could write a comment what you saw at that particular location etc so you know as you navigate around and you take pictures it just does a really nice job of organizing it for you um, so you know there's a lot there and uh, you also have the ability to uh, update your maps uh, there's different map options that you can get into I showed a little bit of that, you know, before, uh, you know, you could put in various settings here of how you want it shaded depending on the depth of the water. But, you know, as a fun tool, you know, whether you're, like I said, you could be with the family, you could be on a ferry traveling across a body of water going on vacation, and you're just curious, hey, what's the depth around us that we're traveling? Or how fast was this ferry going? bring up your app and then boom it's there so you know in my opinion no matter who you are uh, and I've said this before no matter how expensive your equipment is on your boat uh, or simplistic uh, this is a great app a great tool every boater should have this and like I said um, you know you really can't beat the price because it is it is free right it is free so i hope you've enjoyed this video uh this brief uh, tutorial on some of the functionality of uh, the navionics app 
Uh, and, uh, you know, I would suggest that uh, you get it and subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. Have a good day.